potential harms of systemic infection. Infection in the neonates or neonatal sepsis is a devastating condition. In this webinar, we will discuss how infections can harm the babies. This slide shows the burden of child deaths worldwide. We have a huge burden of child death, 6.3 million children every year. That is just too huge. Over 99% of these deaths happen in developing countries. Over two-thirds of them are preventable by simple interventions. Of 6.3 million under five deaths, 2.8 million are actually neonates. That is nearly 44% of U5 deaths. This means so many U5 deaths happen within a month of birth. The three most important causes, that is preterm birth related complications, intrapartum related events means asphyxia and sepsis together account for two thirds of neonatal death. It is therefore very clear that infections are a major cause of neonatal death and therefore prevention and optimum management of them is really very important for us. This figure shows case fatality of neonatal sepsis in hospitalized neonates as observed in a recently published daily neonatal sepsis registry study in Lancet Global Health. A quarter of the babies dies when there is any sepsis in, in the babies either culture positive or culture negative. The other potential harms in the babies include longer stay in the hospitals. Treatment of sepsis itself result in a variety of harms in the baby what is known as itrogenesis. There is increased cost on part of the families as well as on the part of hospitals. Moreover, sepsis results in long term neurodevelopmental disabilities also. Key messages therefore are neonatal sepsis is a devastating condition causing many neonatal deaths. Additionally, it is associated with increased hospital stay, cost, therapy related complications and neurological disability. It is therefore important for us to prevent and optimally manage this condition. Thank you.